Well, I think it would be invidious to single one out. There's, there's of course, great interest in uh, phenylbutyrate and Tudka, and there's a big trial starting on that, and there was preliminary data on survival, but that can be criticized structurally in terms of methodologically of how reliable that survival effect is. We hope it is. Let's see from uh, the new trials. And, and, and if, when I surveyed this recently, I came to the conclusion that never have there been more trials of many different types, biological, cell therapies, small uh, molecule therapies. Uh, as I said, it would, it would be a long list if I were to reel through. So it's a very exciting time. And then, of course, as I mentioned previously, we've got the broadly defined uh, gene modification therapy with SOD1, FUS, and so on, C9 ORF, and so on. And these they hold promise, but the preliminary results suggest that it might be a bit more complex than we hoped. Um, but I think that will be solved in time. So I think there's tremendous hope. And the question is, how does all this come together for the individual person with MND, ALS, I use the terms interchangeably, um, bearing in mind the heterogeneity of this disorder. And that's going to be, I think, a really interesting uh, and important topic to grapple with, personalizing our therapy, uh, essentially.